Hello, my viewers and my subscribers. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Today's topic will be patient first, computer last. Okay, this is so important. It's so important. As I mentioned in my book, Expert Tips on Becoming a Dialysis Technician, um, I talked in one of my chapters about how this particular um, guy, how, you know, when he came into my unit, all of the patients wanted him, they loved him, they were calling him, they was like, hey man, come put me on the machine, come put me on the machine. Um, you're the best man oh my goodness and I didn't understand why so many people were um, why they were asking for him and wanting um, him to put them on the machine and um, I started to study him like I said not out of jealousy but I just wanted to know what was so special about this technician that even my patients were calling him over to you know for him to put them on um, and so he taught me a very valuable lesson and he showed me how to put on the patient first and then deal with the electronic um, chart afterwards all right so this is how it goes and by the way, when I took his techniques and I went per, you know, I went to work at other units per diem, the patients loved me. And I had a lot of, to me, I had a lot of success in implementing what he said, incorporating it into, you know, how I do my job. So, um, this is how it goes. When a patient finished weighing, um, and they come to their chair, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to greet the patient and you're going to take their vitals. You're going to take the temperature, you're going to take the blood pressure, and you're also going to take the, the pulse. All right. Um, and once you, once you take the standing blood pressure and you take the temperature and the pulse, then what you're going to do is you're going to have the patient sit down and you're going to take a sitting blood pressure. You're going to put those three things into the electronic chart or if you're using a paper chart, you're going to write those three things down. Or if you have an additional step, you can write, you know, whatever the additional step is, you can put it on the paper. And what I mean is an additional step, meaning... Um, Maybe the nurse wants you to do something else in regards to the patient. Whatever it is, just put it down on the paper or into the electronic chart. Next, what you're going to do is you're going to get your needles out and you're going to um, you're going to clean the patient's access. You're going to cannulate them, and you're going to put them on a machine. All right, and so. The machine, if you're following this step, the machine should already be ready, okay? Meaning it should already be circulating, recirculating um, by the time you turn to even hook up the patient. After you're done with the patient, everything should be done on the machine, meaning all the patient's information should be in the machine, all right? The, the time they're going to run, um, the dialysate flow, um, all of that information should be in the dialysis machine if you're doing it this way. But like I said, always follow your clinical policy and procedure. The only thing I'm doing is I'm just sharing, you know, this experience with you. And I'm sharing what has helped me as a dialysis technician. All right. Um, and then once the patient is on the machine... Then I turn to the electronic chart or the paper chart and I finish, you know, putting in the rest of the information regarding the patient. All right. Um, I think this is the best thing to do. 
this is. Um, you know, just comparing it to what I used to do when I was a newbie. And, and what I used to do as a newbie is I would fumble around with the the electronic chart. You know, sometimes I would use the paper chart if the chair side was down. I would fumble around with that. Fumble around with that, and then I would get to the patient. And by the time I get to the patient, they don't they, they get so frustrated. They're like, Hurry up, I got an appointment, or you are so slow. <laughs> oh my goodness, I heard it all. Mm -mm -mm. Some patients would get so frustrated that they would ask another tech, they'd be like, Such and such, come put me on, man. This girl is so slow, man. Oh my goodness. And I'd be just standing there. I'd be like, I don't know what to do. I don't know how to improve. But it wasn't until I saw that technician. And once I humbled myself to see what is this particular tech doing? That he's getting so much praise and so much, uh, so much celebration. You know, every time he comes in the unit, people are like, hey, man, what's up? Come put me on, man. I know you fast, man. I'm like, what? What is he doing that I'm not doing? So that's why in my previous video um, concerning... Um, what topic was that? It was, um, I believe it was for newbies and, 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 and looking at technicians that, that get good responses from not only their teammates, but the patient. And it's very important. And when I stayed around this particular tech, I'm telling you, he made my life so easy as a technician. I'm telling you, he took the time to tell me, Casilla. You got to put patient first, then you're going to put electronic chart last, okay? So what you're going to do is the vitals, you're going to put those three to four vitals into the electronic chart or the paper chart, and then you're going to put the patient on. Forget about signing this, signing that, asking someone else for a signature. You need to focus on the patient, Okay, now if it's your unit policy, if the policy of the unit is telling you to do something totally different than what I'm telling you, then do whatever they say because you don't want someone from higher up to be observing you and you're doing the wrong thing and you lose your job. So this is what I'm just sharing with you, you know, concerning my quote-unquote success really in terms of putting on patience taking off patience um i really it's a it's really different when it's time to take off the patient i really have to snag all information okay i remember dealing with the h machines if i didn't snag all the information it would be erased <laughs> or sometimes, you know, it, it, I just wouldn't be able to retrieve it. So I am telling you that when it's time for the patient to get off the machine, it's very important to get every information. Okay. While you're rinsing the patient back, you need to be getting all of the information, all of the information, post-treatment information, fill that chart out, fill it out. All right. So, um, I just want to tell you again, guys, you want, if, if someone's calling you slow, I mean, don't take it personal because the thing is, I don't want you to rush. I don't want you to, you know, um, take what I'm saying and rush. I want you to take your time, but I want you to move in a way that is, that makes sense. You know what I'm saying? You're going to move at a good pace. And you're going to know what you're doing. Okay? That is important. Okay? I don't want anybody to say, oh, well, I took her advice and this is what happened. No. Always check with your unit um, concerning everything. You know, I'm just telling you what worked for me. What gave me some hand claps. All right? Um, when I went to different units, it was like, girl, put me on. So I had the same kind of... 
same kind of positivity coming from the patients as well as my t some of my teammates, you know, by using the different strategies that this young, I mean, this technician, this experienced technician um, showed and taught me. Okay, because I was open-minded. You had to be open-minded. If another tech is giving you some advice, you need to listen. I never stop learning. I never stop learning. I love learning, and I love just finding new ways to do my job right. You know, so, guys, I just want to tell you, if you are fumbling and, and, and going on concerning the charts, listen, Start putting the patient first and then get to the electronic chart. And this saved me a lot of headache during turnover because the patient knew, hey, I'm being taken care of and my machine isn't, you know, ringing, ringing, ringing um, concerning, I'm sorry, concerning post-treatment, all right? And when it came to post-treatment, like I said, um, I would do things a little differently. That is another video because post-treatment is a certain way I take off the patient so that they won't be sitting there forever. Wow, let's say I have three patients coming off at the same time, which I have had happen. Okay, there's a certain way I take the, I, I tend to them so that they don't, they're not sitting there and their machine is ringing and beeping and beeping and beeping. And they're getting upset. You know what I'm saying? They're starting to holler on the machine. So that will be a separate video. But like I said, um, in the morning time, all of my patients are being taken care of. Because I, I let them know. I say, good morning, such and such. Or good morning, blah, blah, blah. I will be with you in a minute. I put everybody's blood pressure cuff on. And then I go right back down the row and press. Um, and, and after they all stand, I do a sitting blood pressure. And then I go back down the row again, take everybody's temperature. And then after I take everybody's temperature, then I start with whoever's supposed to get on first. And then I start cannulating them. Cannulating them, starting the machine, and... I finish that chart afterwards and then I move to the next person cannulate then finish the chart and that's after I put after I put in those three to four things into the electronic chart then I cannulate them I start the treatment on the machine as well as the electronic chart and then I move to the next person all right so I don't want to be confusing but I'm a list step by step of what I do below this video all right guys so I I hope I was helpful I hope I wasn't that confusing so um, if you have any questions please um, please leave it below this video or you could go to my blog dialysis technicians worldwide.blogspot.com and don't forget to join my group if you have not my dialysis group and if you have not subscribed and you're a viewer, please subscribe today. All right. Bye.